Hello, I'm Roger from Unicycle.com. Um, we've just had a delivery in, um, and I just thought I'd show you some of the new products. Uh, we've got the Oracle 27.5 here, um, one of our top-end Muni unicycles. Got a few new features on, just thought I'd show them to you. So, let's see what we've got in the box here. So, you get your, your saddle and your seat post attached. You get a box with your, we call it the pedal box bits and pieces in um, and then the rest of it all comes as one one big chunk all put together let's put the box out of the way Come on, stand up okay so we'll start with the with what we've got here now lovely green coloring color tells you it's a 27 and a half um, the color of the rim always tells you uh, what size they are with the oracles um, now we've got the Havoc 27.5 by 3 tyre, great tyre, it's lightweight, it's, it's a, a proper nice um, tyre, good grip, um, great for the climbs, and good, strong enough and it holds up on those descents. Um, fitted to the Dominator 2 rim, um, nothing new on that but great rim, one of those products that just doesn't go wrong. Um, on the rim. Um, the big thing you will notice straight away, new cranks. These are the VCX cranks, um, ground up build. Um, they are the development on from the Venture 2 cranks. Um, they are considerably stronger. They um, have a deeper section, they're smaller here, they're actually deeper as well, they're actually thicker, um, but great cranks. So. Um, Looking forward to, to seeing those how those work. We've been testing them for, for months now. Um, we do like those. Okay, the frame. Um, there is. I am gonna, just going to clip off the bit of packing there um, and show you the frame. Now the frame is actually wider. We've increased the width by uh, I don't remember about three to four millimeters. It's all we needed just to fit the three inch tires in give them more clear more mud clearance that was one of the comments feedbacks from customers um, okay comes with the Shimano disc brake 165 as standard um, as with all the oracles um, so nice disc brake um, and Shimano does work very well uh, internal disc of course not external so let's move on that's uh, let's put that down um, okay Saddle and seat post. Um, it's the stadium saddle. Been out for a little bit, but this is a new version, uh, and I know it is. It's softer. We're taking feedback from customers. The first ver first generation was much too hard, um, and and these are a lot softer. This is the the stadium is the one with the groove down the middle. So as you see here. Um, We've also changed the shape of the foam. There's a bigger curve here. So along this surface, this is a bigger curve. Again, it's just to give us more comfort as we ride. Now, the saddle as a whole, it's, it's a great base. Uh, nylon 6, tough. Certainly compared to the polypropylene uh, saddles that we're used to. Nice grip area at the back. Um, and the grip at the front is from the side or the front and the reason there is if I can show you there's no ridge at the front so we've redesigned the whole of the front area standard bolt pattern so you could actually if you'd wanted to fit a Chris Holmes saddle or one of the other saddles um, nice big hole it's bigger than the the old saddles we used to have which means your hand can fit in there properly to grip and not a problem getting in and out so in grip terms you've got lots of options and it's considerably more comfortable as well than it used to be um, you'll see at the, at the back the brake mount so um, nice and simple just to mount the handle for the brake so it goes underneath um, now the other thing you get the pedal box um, in the pedal box first thing you'll find is a little card this is your instructions card. Um, on the back, you find a QR code that you can um, uh, go to the website with directly. Um, and on the website, you'll find links to each unicycle 
and downloadable instructions in 10 different languages. Uh, nice uh, way kind of expanding that. You get a little um, instructions for the Shimano brake. You get one of the uh, unicycle.com spanners. And this is a hardened steel. They are nice, solid, hardened steel uh, uh, pedal wrenches. Make a great riding kit. Nice, simple um, way to go. We have the, the double quick clamp. Um, a great product. You have, um, and put that away. You have the two quick releases to give you good clamping force. Um, so out on the trail, what a change of seat pads. You don't need to get your Allen key out. You can just move it. Nice and simple. Um, great product. Um, other things you've got. Well, you've got the <laughs> pedals, obviously, in a pedal box. Uh, these are nylon, um, glass-filled nylon. Uh, with steel studs on, very durable. They're they're never a problem. Nice and light, um, and good good product. Uh, now other things we get in there. You get a little tool for setting up your um, Shimano brakes. You get a little Allen key for assembly, and two mystery plastic items. We always get asked about these. Um, these actually fit onto the Shimano brake. Um, I don't know anyone who's using them. If you want to, they just fit over the uh, the head of the um, the Allen key bolts. Uh, we don't really know why you fit them, but apparently they, they stop them, them turning and coming loose. They never come loose. So anyway, so that's what you get in the box. Um, great top end unicycle. Really excited with the way things are moving on. It's just development, isn't it? Uh, trying to give you guys the best uh, product we can.